Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about uh, one more topic that is uh, de novo synthesis of fatty acids. Uh, de novo synthesis of fatty acids. Uh, we also call uh, this de novo synthesis of fatty acids uh, with a different name that is palmitic acid uh, pathway. Okay, this will becomes under a uh, topic that is metabolism. Uh, we will begin this uh, uh, slide. Uh, we will begin with uh, PPT uh, introduction PPT that is uh, introduction to de novo synthesis of fatty acids. <clears throat> Deno synthesis of fatty acids is a series of reactions which involves in the method of production, which involves the method of production of palmitate from acetyl coenzyme A. Deno synthesis means the new way of synthesis. There are some of the dietary compounds like carbohydrates, amino acids. When they're consumed in excess quantity, they get converted into fatty acids and they will be stored as triglycerides in our body. Okay. The site of deno synthesis is liver kidney and adipose tissue this de novo synthesis occurs in three stages first stage is production of acetyl coenzyme and nadph second stage is conversion of acetyl coenzyme to malonyl coenzyme and third stage is reaction of fatty acid synthase compound <clears throat> let us begin uh, with the production of acetyl coenzyme and nadph that is first stage in the first stage what happens at the first point it indicates that it, it uh, in the first point we will uh, it will uh, discuss that uh, it will says that uh, acetyl coenzyme is the main requirement for the production of fatty acids okay generally in this uh, in this uh, de novo synthesis of fatty acids uh, what is the main component means fatty acids are the main component okay to get that fatty acids we need acetyl coenzyme from acetyl coenzyme, uh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, in the uh, here acetyl coenzyme is the main component. To uh, to get acetyl coenzyme, uh, we require uh, it will undergo series of reaction in the presence in the presence of fatty acids. Okay, mainly we get acetyl coenzyme from <coughs> oxidation of pyruvates, uh, which are present in mitochondrial matrix, and uh, so with the, some of the amino acids and some and with some of the ketone bodies okay uh, the reaction which is taking place in mitochondria that is impermeable to acetyl coenzyme a. so transfer uh, so the transfer of acetyl coenzyme a, uh, is impossible here so uh, so there is there is an alternative arrangement is made to transfer this acetyl coenzyme a from mitochondrial matrix to cytosol matrix <clears throat> the acetyl coenzyme a is condensed to oxaloacetate okay to transfer this acetyl coenzyme a to uh, from mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol matrix initially what they do means they will be uh, here there is a condensation reaction is going to be taken place that is uh, in between the acetyl coenzyme a and uh, this uh, oxaloacetate okay when the condensation reaction takes place in between this acetyl coenzyme and oxaloacetate there is a formation of citrate okay in the presence of citrate synthase enzyme okay that citrate is permeable to mitochondrial matrix and that will be comes out of the mitochondrial matrix very easily okay we will uh, discuss this um, all theory part uh, by looking at one uh, by looking at one uh, cycle okay uh, in this cycle we are going to look in two parts that is one part in cytosol matrix and another part in mitochondrial matrix okay just consider or imagine that it uh, it is a mitochondrial matrix Okay. In mitochondrial matrix, we have pyruvate. Okay, that pyruvate will be get directly converted into acetyl coenzyme A. In the presence of enzyme, pyruvate dehydrogenase. Okay, this pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme converts as uh, converts pyruvate from a pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A. Okay, this as we already discussed in theory part, acetyl coenzyme A is impermeable to mitochondrial matrix sorry my mitochondrial matrix is impermeable to acetyl coenzyme a so we it won't comes out of the mitochondrial matrix freely okay to get acetyl coenzyme a out of mitochondrial matrix there is a condensation reaction is going to be taken place with acetyl coenzyme a and mitochondrial oxaloacetate okay here <coughs> Uh, that will be undergoing condensation reaction this acetyl coenzyme undergoes condensation reaction in the presence of oxaloacetate uh, that will be converted into citrate in the presence of enzyme citrate synthase okay this citrate uh, is easily comes out of this mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol matrix 
when it comes out of the cytosol mat uh, mitochondrial matrix to the cytosol matrix it will be get easily converted into oxaloacetate in the presence of coah and acetylcoenzyme a and here there is a utilization of energy is going to be taken uh, used utilization of energy occurs so there is a conversion of uh, atp from adp takes place in the presence of enzyme citrate lyase okay similarly this oxaloacetate will be get converted into malate in the presence of enzyme malate dehydrogenase and similarly the malate will be get converted into pyruvate in the presence of enzyme malic enzyme we also call malic enzyme as malate dehydrogenase okay uh, as uh, we also we already got this nadph from nadph we directly get fatty acids and from co2 we all we directly get fatty acids and from acetyl coenzyme also we get fatty acids this is the first stage of uh, <coughs> de novo synthesis of fatty acids that is production of acetyl coenzyme a and in the second stage there is a conversion uh, second stage is conversion of acetyl coenzyme a to malonyl coenzyme a okay uh, just uh, look at this uh, uh, reaction here there is a conversion of acetyl coenzyme a to malonyl coenzyme a takes place here there is a carboxylation uh, addition addition of carbon dioxide is going to be taken place uh, in the presence of enzyme acetyl coenzyme a carboxylates okay uh, this uh, fixation of carbon dioxide is going to be uh, takes place with the help of biotin here there is a utilization of energy is going to be taken place so the conversion of atp from adp adp takes place here this is about the second stage of conversion this is the second stage that is conversion of acetyl coenzyme a to malonyl coenzyme a the and, and we will move to the third stage that is reaction of fatty acids synthase complex okay in the reaction of fatty acid synthase complex reactions of fatty acid synthase are catalyzed by multifunctional enzymes okay in this here it is a series of reaction we use multi uh, we use uh, multifunctional enzymes here uh, that is known as uh, fatty acid synthase complex each monomer possesses the activity of different enzyme and and an uh, acyl carrier protein this sequence of reactions will be discussed discussed below okay uh, here uh, initially the acetyl coenzyme a is going to be combines with fatty acid synthase okay when it going to be combines with fatty acid synthase in the presence of acetyl coenzyme a acp trans acylase it gives coash out and it forms one uh, compound that we call it as acetyl es acp okay this is the first reaction okay and the formed intermediate again trans there is a transfer of chain between acyl to cytosine takes place so when there is a transfer of uh, chain from acyl to uh, from acetyl to cytosine takes place okay there is a uh, again it will be uh, it forms acetyl s enzyme and this formed acetyl s enzyme will be combines with malonyl coenzyme a. when it combines with malonyl coenzyme a in the presence of malonyl coenzyme a acp trans acylase it again gives out coenzyme a this is third, uh, this is the second uh, uh, second reaction okay from second reaction uh, we get acetyl acyl malonyl enzyme okay from acyl malonyl enzyme again it undergoes reaction in the presence of enzyme beta keto acyl acp synthase this is a uh, this is a third uh, step of uh, re uh, reaction okay it will be here there is a elimination of carbon dioxide is going to be taken place and it gives beta keto acyl acp okay here there is a uh, look at this structure here look at this structure here okay here we have co uh, c double bond o ch3 in the cys uh, cys okay this will be get transferred to acp okay this will be get transferred to acp we will look at this in this reaction okay it will be for uh, there is a transfer of uh, keto uh, keto group to uh, acp takes place okay this is 
third uh, third stage of uh, third step of reaction in the fourth step step of reaction what happens there is a uh, in the presence of beta keto acyl acp reductase enzyme this is a forced step of reaction it will be get converted into <coughs> beta hydroxy acyl <coughs> beta hydroxy acyl acp okay look at this here uh, we have keto group here this is keto group this is keto group okay in this reaction the keto group will be converted into hydroxyl group okay the enzyme beta keto acyl acp reductase that converts keto group to hydroxy group okay in the third step in the third step the enzyme beta hydroxy acyl acp dehydrogenase if this is a fifth fifth step of uh, this is a uh, fifth, uh, fifth fifth step of reaction here there is a removal of water molecule takes place okay the removal of water molecule okay this will be uh, when there is a removal of water molecule okay this hydroxy group what it contains no that will be gets eliminated from uh, this beta hydroxy acyl acp and the bond which is present present above that that will be shifted to shifted to here okay so it forms double bond here okay when it forms double bond that uh, that uh, for uh, that compound we are going to call it as trans delta 2 enol acp <coughs> Okay, again, this trans delta to anoil ACP undergoes reaction in the presence of anoil ACP reductase. This is the sixth step of reaction. Okay, in this sixth step, what happens? There is a <coughs> again, there is a uh, bond that is a double bond will be gets converted into single bond, and here there is an addition of water, addition of hydrogen takes place. So here CH2 CH2 becomes and there is a removal of one bond is occurs okay the it forms acyl acp that we also call it as butyryl acp the formed butyryl acp transfer of carbon chain from acp to cys takes place okay when it uh, transfers the carbon atom uh, chain carbon chain from acp to cys <coughs> it forms acyl s enzyme okay continued in next slide okay uh, the acyl s enzyme this undergoes the reaction from second to sixth step what we have studied that steps are going to be uh, that repeated six times and there is a lengthening in the chain occurs okay observe here initially we had only CH2, but <clears throat> when it undergoes a series of reaction up to uh, six times, okay, it will be here. There is a lengthening of uh, chain, uh, carbon chain is going to be taken place that will uh, up to 13 carbon atoms, okay. <clears throat> and lastly, uh, when there is a uh, this formed length, length uh, this formed intermediate compound undergoes reaction in the presence of palmitile thioesterase it will it will remove one water molecule from that intermediate compound and forms and there is a separation takes place <coughs> between palmitate and intermediate compound okay the summary of palmitate synthase in palmitate it consists of 16 carbon atoms and in this only two carbon atoms are comes from acetyl coenzyme and the remaining 14 carbon atoms comes from melonyl coenzyme the overall reaction of palmitate is summarized by 8 acyl coenzyme plus 7 atp plus 4 14 nadph plus 14 h plus that will give palm one molecule of palmitate eight molecule of coa seven molecule of adp seven molecules of pi and six molecules of water 
थैंक यू